Welcome to another X-ray University video. Today we're going to have a really cool collaboration with our friends at turtleshoard.com or Angry Turtles. Uh, what they do is they sell minerals, crystals, and rocks that are super cool. You can fabricate them and you can uh, customize them to jewelry and you know all the other cool stuff you can do with this stuff. Anyway, fluorescence is one of the coolest things in nature, right? Fluorescence happens when a photon, when, uh, when a, so when a photon, visible or invisible photon, hits a material and causes one of those electrons inside the material to bounce to a different shell. And in the process of doing that, it emits an X-ray photon at a different wavelength. And we use this all the time in our X-ray machines because that's exactly the material in our x-ray sensors, right? So the x-ray sensor is nothing but a fluorescence layer that gets x-ray photons uh, and what well, basically the shadow that your sample projects onto the sensor. And behind that, we have uh, uh, a camera, just like the one in your iPhone, very similar to the one in your iPhone. We have that camera that looks at that fluorescence shadow and takes that into an image that ends up uh, showing up on your computer. Super cool process. So, uh, you know, as you can see, we can light uh, this, uh, and the, the guys, uh, Tim sent us some uh, UV pens, that are super cool. So as you can see, we can light those uh, crystals, those materials, those minerals, and they fluoresce. The question is, will they also fluoresce, and how will they fluoresce under the X-ray light, under the X-ray machine. So that's exactly what we're gonna do today. We're gonna put all these minerals inside our X-ray machine. Uh, we're gonna turn on the X-ray and then we're gonna show you how they fluoresce, if they fluoresce with X-ray photons. Okay, so let's check it out. So now that the minerals are all inside the x-ray machine, we can turn it on and see, well, we can actually see an x-ray image of the minerals, right? And from inside the machine, you can see them going to fluoresce uh, at different wavelengths, uh, which is a function of the material itself, right? Uh, so we have x-ray photons now at a 130 kV. Uh, and as you see, as we move the materials, if we move the minerals from stage to stage, they only fluoresce when X-ray photons are hitting directly that specific mineral, right? So as we move the stage from left to right, they're gonna shine up and then they're gonna get dark again because they only emit, they only fluoresce when they have light hitting them, right? As soon as that source of energy is over, the material goes back to a relaxation state that's not gonna be emitting visible photons that you see they look beautiful under the x-ray. Now, there are materials that are always emitting uh, light, right, because they're decaying. So they are radio uh, nuclear materials that are gonna be decaying, but that's a whole different conversation. Slightly more dangerous, not something we can handle in this environment. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you had fun. Uh, if you have any other questions or any crazy things like the guys at uh, uh, angry turtles and all the the cool stuff they do uh, send it to us we love to play with x-rays and show you how things work on the inside don't forget to subscribe and keep watching i'll talk to you guys soon bye